So overcoming some major obstacles often takes focus and determination. Our Troy Washington is live this morning with how some teenagers use the challenges of the pandemic to become entrepreneurs. Troy, I love the story and I love the young people behind it. Good morning to you. Good morning. Well, Raphael, some pretty amazing young people at that. And get this, they started their own businesses during a pandemic. During all that downtime, they use that to really just allow their creativity to flourish. Now, I believe they're just getting started. Meet Alexis Moment, the creator of Mo Masterpieces, a business started at the height of the pandemic. I didn't think I could do art as a career at first because I was thinking, oh, maybe I should do a different job. Maybe that's not for me. I saw this program, which is the YEP program, and I saw their Zoom calls and I'm like, Oh, that's a pretty good opportunity. The Young Entrepreneur Program started as a way to give young people the tools they need to start their own business and pursue whatever they are passionate about. The group was created because the teenagers wanted to know how to make their own money during quarantine. They give you a lot of input. They can tell you about budgeting, about marketing, maybe about customer service, basically as much as you need to know about starting and growing your business. And it's not just for teenagers. There's a couple of kids on there. It ranges around, I would say, maybe six from the youngest to about 25 as the oldest. So it's a pretty good range of young aspiring scholars. Very proud of like the young people, especially, especially the youngest in the group. It's really inspiring, to be honest, because usually as a young person, you don't usually know what you want to do. And the fact that all of these young people and all these young scholars are like, this is what I want to do. Eric Whistler is the founder of Overcomer Clothing Line. I'm 15 now, but when I founded it, I was 14. Believe it or not, he says it was his mom who challenged him to use his extra time to do something impactful. But he says it was the man upstairs who ordered his steps. I went into prayer and one day God just revealed to me while I was in the kitchen, actually, Overcomer Clothing. Because really, I founded it to empower people to overcome their obstacles. He says with the help of YEP, he's been unstoppable since launching the brand during the pandemic. I do expect for this thing to really blow up by the end of the year. Well, not even by the end of the year, but I expect it to blow up before I'm out of high school. Now at five, I did talk to you guys about the pop-up shops that these teenagers are going to and how they're selling out of all their products. But when you read this story on WRTV.com, you can find out how to support the teenagers and how to take part in the group. Working for you downtown, I'm Troy Washington, WRTV.